Hey, what's up guys? Today, I want to show you how I make a spray panel for a three-stage red, how I blend the three, a three-stage red on the door, and how I do a step-down panel with the clear on the three-stage red. And what I have here is a fender. I'm gonna blend my door and I have to paint the bumper as well. I gotta blend my bumper over here and then I gotta tape it up so that when I clear the bumper on the rest of the bumper, there's a hard line on the bumper that I'm able to stop the clear on that's not gonna show up when I take the tape off. And even if it has like a little, little bit of an overspray line, it'll be able to polish it out real nice. That way I don't have to do a clear melt on top of the bumper. So let's get started. I'm gonna put four to five coats on my panel, which I already put some sealer on it. As you can see, I put some sealer on my fender and it's a nice gray sealer so that my red covers up good. So let's get started guys. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to be applying five coats of base coat to that fender. Five coats of base coat to this fender, that's five, and then I'm going to apply three to four coats on this door while I'm blending it and on that post. And same thing goes for the bumper. On the bumper I'm going to apply four to five coats and blend it out as I'm going along. Then, after I apply my base coat to everything, including the fender, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you how I blend out my red tinted clear. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be spraying out this panel and show you how I do a step down panel with the clear. Because three stage red all depends on how many coats of tinted red clear you put on it and that's what gives you the accurate color that you need and so you want to make sure you make a spray out panel like this when spraying it now i probably by now made a video about how to make spray and organize a spray out panel and check your color so i'll link that video over here if you guys want to check that out because that video shows everything i do when i make a spray out panel check the color and organize it and store it away. So let's get started with this paint job. I'm gonna start putting my base coat down, which is the red base coat. The red base coat goes down first. I'm gonna spray five coats and then I'm gonna put down my red tinted clear and show you how I do everything. So usually what I like to do with a spray panel like this is I spray two coats on the panel and then I start covering my car and my parts. While, while I spray that, the panel starts to dry up and I can put my other two coats on after I'm done going around the car. Okay, so I'm done with my base coat and all I did was I blended it the way I would blend any other panel with my base coat. Now I have videos on how to blend color and I'll link them, I'll link them right here for you guys to check it out if you want to check that out. If you guys don't know how to blend colors, I have a good video on how to blend colors. So check that video out when you get a chance. And that's all I did here. I blended my color, I blended it basically up to this point right here. Let me show you. So as you can see where the paper is, you can see that my color is just blended up to this point. So I have my color blended pretty much up to this point. The door is pretty big, so I got a lot of space. So now what I'm gonna do is, when I clear coat with the tinted red clear, I'm gonna move my color back, my tinted red clear a little further back from where I finished my base coat. 
So my base coat is here. I'm gonna take my clear coat back a little bit further back on the first coat and then just an inch further back from my first coat of clear, I'm gonna take it another inch further back with my second coat of clear because that's typically how many coats I'm gonna need of tinny red clear because I already checked the color. Now for the sake of showing you guys, I am making this spray panel. So you can know how to do a step down panel to check your color to make sure it's a good matching color. So I did the same thing on the bumper that I did on the door. I have my base coat blended over here. I'm gonna take my clear coat a little bit further with my tin red clear coat, and then I'm gonna clear the rest of it with regular clear. So let me show you how I make a step down panel with my, step, with my spray out panel. Now I have five coats of base coat on this panel. Now what I did was I grabbed a piece of six inch masking paper, and I'm gonna put it on this panel and I usually use these punch holes to measure in between each section so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put three different coats of tin and red clear on this so I'm gonna start at the top I'm gonna put my paper right here I'm gonna put my paper right here to cover the rest of this and put one coat of clear on here then when I put that coat in I'm gonna move my paper down to the next section between the bottom punch hole and the second punch hole and I'm gonna put my paper here and so then I'm gonna put another coat of clear that's gonna make this two coats and this one coat then I'm gonna remove the paper all together put one more coat on everything and then the bottom is gonna be one coat the middle is gonna be two coats and the top is gonna be three coats and that's what you want to make sure you get an accurate color match on your panel to check and make sure it matches the color on the car okay all right so let me show you so I'm gonna put my paper right here. Right here. All right, I'm gonna put one coat of clear coat, tinted red clear coat on this panel. Coat. All right, I have one coat that's tinted red clear. Now I'm gonna move my paper down to the next section. Now I'm gonna be moving this fairly quick just to show you guys because I need to get this car painted. But when you're making this panel, between each coat, you wanna give it at least three to five minutes because if not, it'll run into the rest of the clear. So just keep that in mind. I'm just doing this to show you how I do it. I'm gonna move quickly, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna bring the panel. Now you see that? You see how the top, the rest of it doesn't have any clear coat and how the top has one coat? All right, I'm gonna put my paper between the other two holes. I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna spray another coat of clear on here and then take my paper completely off. See that? Now there's two coats on the top and one coat in the middle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the paper all together. See that? The bottom has no clear right now, right? So that means when I put my last coat of clear, the bottom's gonna have one, the middle's gonna have two, and the top's gonna have three. All right, let's spray that on there. There we go. That is how you do it. Now, like I said, it's gonna be harder for you to see this on camera, but that's how you make a step down panel. Now, if I take it to the car, it's gonna show me which amount of tin and red clear coat is the right amount to match this color. So let me show you what I mean. Once you're done with the panel, just bring it up to the car and check the color. Check and see how many coats of the clear coat matches best on the car. Now it's nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be two coats of tinted red clear. Now just to be safe, always check the panel on the car, especially next to something like, like I have here where I'm painting a fender, but I'm not painting a hood. Now, the only reason I'm not painting the hood is because I already have a panel made. I checked my color, so I know I have a good color match. But for the sake of showing you guys, I showed, I made this panel to show you how I check these colors. But now, let's get to finishing this job up. I'm gonna spray the tinted red clear on the door, blend the tinted red clear on there, and put two coats on the fender, and blend my tinted red clear also on the bumper. Now I also have a video on how I blend and spray tin and red clear. But in that video I just cover how I do the clear coat and I'll link that video up here 
and at the end of this video if you guys want to check that out this was just more covering the whole step that I take in the whole process so that way you guys could know the whole process I take when doing these kinds of jobs all right now when I checked my panel my panel set two coats of clear was good enough and matches well with this color so I'm gonna put two coats of the tinted red clear blend it out on the door and blend it out on my on my bumper and then I'm just gonna put two coats on the fender and then I'm gonna put two coats of regular clear on everything Okay, so let me show you guys what I got here now. This is my tinted red clear coat. This is where I blended it. It's blended up to this point. This is a little bit further back from where I put my base coat. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spray the rest of this panel with my clear coat. See where I stopped? I stopped right there. My base coat stops here, and my tinted, my tinted clear coat stops here. This is where I blended it. Now the rest of the panel, I'm gonna clear coat it with regular clear, Two coats of regular clear on this panel. I'm gonna do the same thing to my bumper. You see I stopped here with my tinted red clear. I stopped here with my tinted red clear. I'm gonna clear coat the rest of the bumper with my regular clear. I'm gonna clear coat my fender with two coats of clear. And then I'm gonna be done. Well guys, that's it. Check it out. It looks pretty good. That looks nice. The blend is nice and smooth. You can barely tell it was painted. Everything looks good on our bumper. Everything looks nice and smooth. The blend came out good. And that's it guys. Guys, if this video was helpful, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace. Bye.